Hi, my name is Matsuri and welcome back to my channel where I view, rant and discuss about shows or movies that I've recently seen. And today's review is on Beastars. So, I watched this anime when it first came out on Netflix and the preview kind of intrigued me a little bit so I decided to give it a watch and I stopped on the second episode because it kind of didn't go the way that I thought it was gonna be and it weirded me out a little bit and then one of my favorite youtubers called the anime man re um, reviewed the manga version and said it was really good so I was like all right I'll give it another go and I did and I mean it was good but it wasn't for me and I'll get into my thoughts later but for those who haven't seen it or are thinking of seeing it here's the rundown of the story The story takes place in the world where herbivores and carnivores exist and to coexist with each other the carnivores are not allowed to eat meat. One day at Charrington Academy an alpaca, Tim, was brutally murdered and thus the herbivores in the school starts acting anxious. Here we meet our main character Legoshi, a blue grey haired wolf who is soft spoken, timid and overall a quiet wolf who is part of the drama club. Although he is a carnivore, he never shows his aggressive side until one day he smells something that brings out the carnivore in him and attacks the smell. The smell comes from a small dwarf rabbit named Haru, who is frozen in fear, thinking Legoshi will kill her. Legoshi realizes what he's doing and fights his inner demon, releases Haru, but leaving her with a scratch on her arm. Legoshi, regretting what he has done, tries to apologize to Haru but finds out she doesn't remember who scratched her. It is then Legoshi realizes he is in love with Haru, but unfortunately, she has eyes for another. So basically, the story is kind of like Zootopia, but anime and just more dark and more complex storyline with the overall plot revolving around you know, like a Romeo and Juliet kind of love between Legoshi and Haru. So the reason why I stopped watching it after the second episode was because they show Haru in her underwear and that kind of weirded me out a little bit because it wasn't what I thought this anime was gonna be. Although I do like Legoshi and the chemistry he has with all the characters, I like the overall plot you know, of a love story, and I do like how each individual character or the main characters have like their own, you know, problem or like inner demon they want to fight. For example, like Legoshi, who you know is like really timid, but he doesn't want to become a predator because he doesn't want to change into something he aggressive. And then you have Haru, who you know is being bullied because she you know just wants to feel like she belongs but the means she does is not i want to say it's not right but it just made some you know just made more people not people animals i guess <laughs> bully her and then we have lewis who is a herbivore but wants to be a carnivore kind of like you know the whole i don't want to be in this situation kind of you know racialness so it you know, it does deal with racism as well oh, and social status and everything like that. And I do like it, but I found this overall story really, like I found myself uninterested in the story halfway through. And I don't know why, which is why I don't know how I feel about this show. Like. I like I see so many like in-depth videos of you know this show and everyone talking about it and so I feel like maybe I should actually like it like maybe I should you know find myself more interested in it but I don't <laughs> and like I don't really care and I'm not saying that I should like everything that everyone likes, else likes but it's one of those like feelings when you know when something's really popular and you're not 
like you're not sure why you don't like it so you're kind of like trying to figure out why you don't like it it's that kind of feeling for me for this and I don't know maybe I'm just really stupid and I don't really understand the plot point or the whole story or what they're trying to say like I do and I don't and I'm like I don't really watch it you know go into anything really deep unless I really find it interesting but this one just <laughs> This story didn't really interest me as much. So one of the complaints I have is that this anime like feeds us different plot points, you know, but none of them are resolved. And you know, it could be because the manga hasn't finished, so if I read the manga maybe it'll resolve it for me, but I'm not gonna read the manga because I don't like the art style. <laughs> um, but like for example, you know, the show is meant to be kind of like a coming of age for Legoshi, who is rep it's represented to us that he's in a demon that, you know, because he smelt Haru, he kind of went, you know, attacked her. And so throughout the whole show, it's kind of debate, he's, he's kind of debating, but also we're kind of debating, debating, is it, is, did he attack her because he was using his like carnival aggressiveness that came out because of a smell that you know he was obsessed with her or is it actually love like is he affectionate towards her and like it does resolve kind of at the end but not really like it's kind of debatable which one it is like because they don't show anyone else's reaction to what love is in this world so I don't know I feel like if we had like another person's idea of what love is in this world then maybe you know that's resolved and then and the second one is I it's kind of like a little bit of spoiler but we never found out who you know murdered Tim the Tim 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 the alpaca like that was never resolved and like it's also really weird because after in the third episode Lego she's like in his, in his monologue in his inner dialogue he you know says because it was too tragic we all just stopped talking about it and I'm like you're in a world where you if you attack well it doesn't even have to be in that world if you kill someone that's you know that's a very like big issue especially if it's in the school and you have both herbivores and carnivores you know living together like I feel like at least a whole week or so the school should be shut down I mean it might have been but they never say it and I don't know I feel like it's kind of like a big deal that something happened and like there was no investigation or like there was no police involved I don't know that that whole start bit just kind of went straight out the door after like the first two episodes um so that was really weird for me and the last one which isn't really like a plot point but I just thought it was really weird because it's against rules to you know for carnivores to eat meat but the hens in this world lay eggs and they sell it as egg sandwiches or like egg or food food you know they sell their eggs for food and I'm like are you selling your own kids because isn't that what an egg is yes I'm holding an egg just pretend I'm holding an egg but like like what I thought that was like the weirdest thing to add I think it's because a lot of people in Japan aren't, you know, vegetarian, so they don't really know what is considered vegetarian <laughs> and like, or vegan, you know, like, I don't know, I just found the whole egg situation weird for me, like, when I saw it, I was like, dude, you're just giving away your kids? Huh? But that's in a later episode, so it doesn't really come up. <laughs> straight away but I just thought that was a weird thing to add <laughs>
my favorite character is someone that I didn't mention because he's not really in it much, but he is Legoshi's best friend called Yak. And he's a Labrador retriever. And he's just, you know, just happy and energetic, you know, what you think of a dog because, you know, he's a dog person. So he's Legoshi's best friend and they're like the polar opposite. So Legoshi is this like soft-spoken, pessimistic, negative thinking wolf. Wolf? Yeah. Wolf. Whereas, you know, Jack is this, you know, energetic, always positive dog. <laughs> and like, you know, they've, they've been best friends when they were little. So every time he's on, he's just, you know, a, He's just really cute to watch. And like, even if he finds out that Legoshi likes Haru, he doesn't really like tease him or say anything about it. Like he just, you know, he's like, oh, you like her, okay, cool. I mean, <laughs> it's, this is kind of, he's just kind of cute. Should you watch it? To be completely honest, it's not a bad anime to watch. Um, you might need to get used to the CG looking animation. Like it's good animation. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's you can tell it's CG, and they actually had like motion captures on the actors as well. So you know their facial expressions are like spot on and everything. To be honest, I found it a little bit boring. I, you know, I got uninvested in it halfway through. If there is a second season, I might watch it, but it wasn't something that I would wanted to, you know, go in depth about or, you know, read the manga to find out more or anything like that. So you could probably skip it, but just my opinion. But yes, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, tell me, have you seen it? Do you like it? Maybe you can, you know, try and convince me to like it more, I guess. And who is your favourite character? Yes, don't forget to subscribe for more reviews and rants. The next video will be the rant for Chakshin Adi 2. I'm just going to reveal it, because why not? Because <laughs> I already had it in mind anyway, so. Yes, don't forget to give me a like. I'll see you in the next one.